And welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. This is Mr. Kassarian, and welcome to Door Kickers. So, uh, Door Kickers is one of those games that I saw a while back, forgot about, and always really wanted to play. Um, and finally, I've actually just picked it up because I said, you know what, that's it. Enough's enough, we're going to play this. So, first things first, let's turn this audio down just a teeny, teeny bit. Let's take a look at some, other, some more of these options. So, Dora Kickers is basically a... It's... It's a very... How do I say this? It's a very tactical game. Um, it's sort of a, um, a spot simulation, and... It kind of sets aside um, a lot of the, I don't know, sets aside the politics and takes a look at uh, just the tactics of how to clear, breach, take out the bad guys, and rescue the hostages. Very much of the style of sort of like the, the SWAT series or Rainbow series. So let's take a look. I've already done some of the single missions, but we're going to actually start off back with number one. So, any key to continue. I have my two assault teams here. Oh, so this is just, okay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit, we're in planning mode right now. And here we can lay out how we wanna do things. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move him ahead. Just click and drag to move these guys. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change, drag, right click and drag to change the orientation. And now I'm going to move down again, and I'm going to right control click and drag to have him strafe into that room. And fuzz back here. And do the same thing. So once they're in the room, they're facing in here, I'm going to move them forward. So we're going to right click and click here to change these to clear commands. So what they're going to do is they're going to make sure that the zone, that their field of view is clear before they actually move in. And we're going to move this guy down here like this, and we're going to make these clear commands as well. And we're going to change that there. And now, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to reset this. I'm going to add here. And I'm going to adjust this to be on go code alpha. And then I'm going to have would have this guy do something. So the tactic that we're doing here is known as slicing the pie. What I'm basically having him do is sort of move around this corner. Like this. And then I'm actually going to change this to be on go code alpha. Because as soon as he does this, here's what we're going to do. We're then going to breach into the room. This guy is going to button hook all the way around this corner to clear this zone. Because see, from this field of view here, he's already swept most of this room. So this guy's going to button hook, put that into clear command. Once he's button hooked, this guy's going to move ahead. Right. So I'm going to move him up to about here. And I tell him to wait for Go Code Bravo once he's over to here. So then this guy is going to move back to here and look back into the room, right? And then I'm going to move him forward to here. And what I'm actually going to do is change this here and make this a strafe command. And you'll see why in a minute. So I'm going to come up here. We want to change this beyond Goku Bravo, excuse me. Uh, make this a strafe command as well. Change this to be a clear command. He has good view sight down the room. So then what we're going to do is we're going to move him to here. Oh, right. And on Bravo, what are you going to do? So you're facing, we're going to face you like that. And then we're going to have you pop up and over as well good 
and then you're going to move forward to about here. It'll put you on Go Code Charlie. And then you're going to move ahead to about here. Uh, you know what we're going to do? That, and we're going to move you down to stack up on C. You'll stack up right there. So then what we're going to do here, and we're going to have this guy wait on Goku Charlie as well. So then once I'm in here, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to flashbang the rum. I'm going to have C. And then he's going to come in here. And so basically what's going to happen is, you'll see how this works when I actually do the map. So they're going to come through here, they're going to sweep each room, and you can see that they're sweeping each room and hugging the walls each time. And they're basically trying, I'm trying to get clearance across the whole room, and hopefully I planned this correctly. So now he's waiting for GoCode Alpha. One of my guys is injured. Bravo, go. Clear, clear. Go. Damn. Good job. We All right. Restart, keep the plan. So what we're going to do instead... Switch him to Delta. So he's going to wait... Wrong command. Delta. There we go, that's a little bit better. I have to do this in 15 seconds? They're a little bit out of sync, but they'll both sync up at Bravo. There we go. That was a lot faster. Let's see if we did it in 15 seconds. How do you guys want me to do this in 19 seconds? Yeesh. But we did challenge single plan, and we did challenge without pausing. So let's hit continue. All right, clear hostels, similar room. Uh, should be pretty easy to do. All right, let's take a look at this now. Okay, so let's hit, we're in planning mode right now. So this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna change this guy's orientation like that, right? Um, no, you know what? We're not gonna do that. We're not gonna do that. We're going to bang the room. Then this guy's going to move. He's still going to orient this way. Got it. We're going to flashbang the room. And then after we flashbang the room, we're going to come to here. Make that a strafe command. Then he's going to pop into the room. And face back into it. 
this guy okay. is gonna go code alpha. He's gonna come to here. Face this way. Then we're gonna have him come in here, facing this way. Flash out. Alpha, go. Cool. Okay. All right. And we messed that up because we forgot to set the rest of our objectives. So then this guy and this guy's going to stack up to here. Once he does this, I'm going to take this guy, drag him back around Welcome. to here. This guy's going to be on Bravo. We'll put this guy on, okay. Alpha. on Alpha. This guy's going to be on Bravo, and then this guy will be on Charlie. We will flashbang the room. Let's just have him orient like that. We will flashbang the room. And this guy is going to move up. Darn it. Flashbang the room. This guy is going to move up to here and he's going to strafe in. And he's going to come in here and button hook immediately. I'm going to make it a clear command and a clear command. This guy is going to come straight across. Welcome. Let's get him oriented right. He's going to strafe as well. Then when he, he comes in, he's going to go this way. All right, let's see how this goes. All right, that's not working. Restart. Let's do this. And then you're going to sweep back to here. Put this on Charlie. You're going to orient this way. Come straight through like that. It's going to be a strafe move, and then you're going to sweep like that. That off, turn that on. Execute. Flash out. Oh, moving. Clear. Clear. Bravo, go. Flash out. Charlie, go. Good job. There we go. Smooth. Twelve seconds. Holy Toledo. Boy, they sure want us to be a little, uh, a little quick with these, huh? All right, so that's the how these things are basically going. Now, if we go to something like Mozart Street, I think we actually get to organize. Yeah, we get our teams here. Okay, so you'll notice here that I actually have my guys already pretty configured. So right now they're using the Assaulter Vests. Um, I actually might at some point give them Raider Vests because seems better to me I guess um, so right now these guys are operating with the full-on assault vests I have them equipped with a p90 pistol uh, SMG which is I've heard one of the best in the game and an m1911 sidearm because that 45 am I right I'm right and I have them both configured as assaulters assaulters are basically your DPS um, I could have one guy equipped as a shield but I really am not a fan of it honestly so we also here have, you see different officers have different rankings, and that gives them different skills and abilities. So you can see innate skill goes up with each level, so, you know, they get better and better and better and better and better. And actually, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to send Officer Byers in on this one. He has better marksmanship than George. So I'm going to pull George back out 
And I'm going to send in Officer... That's Obolix, right? Customize. Yes, that is. Jeff Byers, Obolix. Okay. And I'm going to send him in instead. So, I can choose my deployment. Let's click Next. So now I'm in planning mode. How are we going to do this mission? Um, there are, generally... Mm, this house is something of a... Even at this level, this house is something of a challenge. Sorry, my, my girlfriend just ordered me my tea. How am I going to do this mission? That's a good question. And actually, looking at the time, it's a question to, for next time, because I am out of time. So, I want to thank y'all for watching. Um, it has been fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy Door Kickers and watching me sort of ponder through how to do these missions. Uh, if you enjoyed it, let me know. If you have any suggestions, let me know. If you didn't enjoy it, also let me know. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. And as always, happy hunting.